guys and welcome back to another video so today's video is a bit different I'm gonna be talking about my weight loss journey so this video is more like a progress report it's more like a, a mid sem report my journey has not ended so I'm just stopping in the middle of it saying this is what happened to make this easier I have split the video into three parts so the first part is my story and my experience with weight loss in general second part is the bigger changes that I made and what I specifically did and the third part will be talking about future goals and plans that I have. I just want to put a disclaimer out. I do recognize that I will be speaking about quite sensitive topics. Also, all these opinions and experiences are of my own. I'm not a doctor. I am not a professional. This is just what I did and I just wanted to put it out there in case anybody could relate or going through similar things. So yeah, let's get started. The desire to lose weight was always a part of my life. When I got into high school is when I started to get interested. Um, obviously, at that time, it was purely for aesthetic reasons. I just wanted to get that hot girl body, summer body, and and back then what was trending was like thigh gaps. High school was when I was at my lightest weight. The school I was attending was quite a far distance away from my home. And on top of that, of course, when you're in high school, there's so much different activities, going to and from classes, a lot of movement. After graduating in 2018 and when 2019 rolled around, that is when my weight absolutely just skyrocketed. I began to work, so I started to have the luxury of time as well as money. So that meant that I could eat whatever I want, whenever I want, I could eat however by much I wanted and my friends who are watching would know that I am an absolute advocate <laughs> Korean chicken connoisseur I love chicken and at that time fried chicken was my thing I would go every week to a very excessive amount and also at that time I was in a relationship so we both ate so much he would hear a lot of comments about how he was getting chubbier so we were both gaining a lot of weight I unconsciously ate nothing about nutrition portion sizes any of that was crossing my mind I wouldn't say I was quite active then either. It was around August to September when my friends and I decided to do a diet. It was definitely helpful in the sense of accountability but of course the measures taken to achieve that was very unsustainable and unhealthy. So I would send what I would eat in a day to my friends. I had this misconception that carbs is gonna kill you and carbs is just your nemesis. So I avoided all snacks at all cost. Mentally it was so straining and very restricting and I just hated everything about it. I was so scared to even put salt and pepper on my food. My idea of weight loss was fruits, veggies, proteins plus gym equals weight loss. If you don't get that equation right, if you don't do one of those things in the equation, then you're not going to lose weight. I had two different gym memberships at that time, one earlier in the year and one later in the year and they both lasted a month before I cancelled it. And I was just so harsh on myself, I was like how could you not go to the gym? And with these unrealistic expectations I was putting on myself, I just gave up because it was just too hard. Out of three of our friends, I was the first one to tap out of the diet so here comes 2020 that's when I got a bit more unfit and a bit more lazier it was to a point where I would uber to places because I couldn't be bothered to cash public transport everything was just so safe and of course lockdown happened on top of that so I basically had no physical activity even if I could go outside to exercise I chose not to and that was when I was at my highest weight at 70.6 kilos and if you see my vlogs as well you can definitely see the weight accumulating on my body but then again for some reason in all August as well. I wanted to try to lose weight and so here are some footages of when I attempted to lose weight again. So the weigh in, we're going to have a look. 70.6. <sighs> so I just finished weighing in and measuring my body and I think I'm in shock. <laughs> I don't think I took the time to just measure my body in general, get on the scales, but it's so shocking to see how much I've gained weight over this past month. Now I'm a whopping 70, which is not bad, but I guess that is the highest I've been in. Okay, I'm about to start my two workouts. I don't know how this is gonna go because I haven't worked out in ages. I really wanted to do a Chloe Ting workout and for my fitness level at that time, it was way too difficult. And because I was so unfit, it made sense that the workout felt so painful at that time. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna throw up. I don't know if you can see, but I'm sweating. Oh, what there is going on? When I do happen to eat like a block of chocolate, I would feel so extremely guilty that I ended up eating the entire thing. So obviously you can tell I had a very unhealthy relationship with my food, with exercise, with my body. My parents started to express and comment about their concerns about my exponentially growing weight gain. Now 2021, it was around February that I suddenly had this light bulb moment. I had the thought that I wanted to lose weight again. But this time, as cliche as it sounds, it was different. I wanted to change and this was for myself, not for anyone else. My 
mental health, my physical health was greater than the aesthetic value. I wanted to feel fit, like I didn't want to feel sluggish. I went through a breakup. <laughs> I want to say that very cautiously. I just thought, wow, I want to be the best version of myself. Like these 10 kilos of weight, of course, it's like accumulated over one to two years, but I wanted to let that go. It was just this huge epiphany, like this huge change moment. From August 2020 to February 2021, I dropped around one to two kilos, probably because I was being more active after lockdown. I was around 68.7. So that leads on to the next part of the video where I will talk about the changes that happened. So the first thing I changed was my attitude. You could already tell from the past stories that I was very impatient. I wanted results quick. I wanted to see the numbers on the scale drop down. I needed to see results. If I didn't see progress, I'd question why do I bother? I think the greatest change from all those years of diet that happened this year was acceptance. I changed my attitude in the sense that I accepted that this is not going to happen overnight. I just always look for the fastest options like watch this video if you want to lose 10 kilos in a week. Like just to these crazy catfishy videos everywhere on YouTube and I think that's kind of feeding into the idea that oh you know weight loss is a quick thing that just makes your mind fix on the short-term things rather than the lifestyle of healthiness and well-being and my attitude towards myself like before me looking slimmer and skinnier was the biggest goal but changing my attitude thinking you know what that will come as a bonus to you feeling great to you feeling healthier that's why I think weight loss can be such an enjoyable experience if you really change your attitude. So I started to educate myself. I'm understanding exactly how does the body lose weight? How does the body lose fat? What's the most sustainable and maintainable ways? Here are a couple of the videos that really helped me change my perspective and learn so much. It was only when I fully educated myself about how food affects your body and weight loss and fat that I started to truly see results and I put more realistic expectations and goals on myself. I became so harsh on myself um, if I fail one day I just butcher myself up but think about it if you have had a lifestyle of eating a specific way and exercising a specific way whether it be no exercise or a little bit of exercise you can't expect yourself one day to suddenly change there's this unofficial rule where people talk about how it takes 21 days to make a habit and you can't just expect yourself to be a fitness guru or be so conscious about your food overnight it happens progressively it happens over time that's how habits are built so ultimately make those easy expectations on yourself have easy goals. So the second part is exercise. Without a doubt, every single time I start to do a weight loss thing, it would always start with me searching on YouTube, crazy hard workouts. I think if you're like me, exercise was never a part of your life. To suddenly do those hard things and advanced things is definitely going to put you off. People are going to come at me for this, but it's kind of like maths. Like if you can't do the basics, you can't expect yourself to do such complex maths. Once you're presented with such complex maths, you're like overwhelmed. You're like, I can't do this. And, and you generalize maths to be such a bad thing. In the same way, exercise is like that. You see something so hard and you associate it with pain and suffering and just not good vibes in general because it's so difficult and challenging. But I think in order to really love exercise for what it is, you need to start with the basics. You need to be slow with your body. It's a progress with the body and the mind, not just your mind wanting to do the harder things. There are easy yet effective workouts and exercise out there to help you lose the weight. So I let go of my pride. I said, you know what? I'm not as fit as I think so I searched up workouts for beginners or easy workouts so that is when I came across a video by the body projects on YouTube oh can I just say I absolutely love this channel I would recommend it to anyone the first video was obviously challenging but what really kept me going was those comments you know what it's okay if you press the pause button it's okay if you're just marching when you're supposed to be doing the given exercise if you're doing your best that's all that matters and maybe next time I could follow along that for some reason was so liberating I never adopted or had that mentality. It was always just go, 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 don't you stop, just keep going. It was just so freeing all these harsh expectations I had of myself to do really hardcore and intense workouts. And that lenience that they showed throughout each video, I wanted to show myself. And their motto is progress, not perfection. You know, I could, I could end off my video here by just saying that because that's literally it. I have definitely had my fair share of reactions when I tell people, oh yeah, I do home workouts. Um, I just watch YouTube videos at home. A lot of people question the effectiveness of these workouts because you're not at the gym. And that was my mindset too. I would think if you're not at the gym, are you really losing weight? And hence the reason why I would always get those gym memberships because I thought that was a part of the equation of losing weight, but it really is not. It's all about moving your body. However that looks like for you today, if that's walking 
walking for 30 minutes outside, then that's so good. Yeah, just being flexible, trying out new things, try resistance, try cardio. You should be at the center and it should be working around you. And that's why people say it's so personal. It's such a personal journey. Now, finally, my favorite food. My previous assumption, as you saw in the previous photos, was that they like, just clean, fresh out of the floor, sort of clean. But I learned about something called a calorie deficit. Now, weight loss occurs when you're in a deficit. So when you're eating less than what you burn, you burn calories from your BMR. You can measure your BMR and see how much calories you need to intake and blah, blah, blah. It's a whole story on its own, but I won't spend this time to talk about that now. When I learned about a calorie deficit is when I truly saw weight loss. It was very new to me. I didn't know about this whole calorie deficit. So I wanted to use an app to help me with that. So I've been using Lose Weight. There's this little cute little orange scale. You track your macronutrients. You can see how much calories you're intaking and kilojoules. So it just is a visual guide. I know a lot of people have different experiences with calorie tracking. Some people love it. Some people hate it. I personally love it and I'm still doing it today. So I started following this Instagram page, Evidence Based Training. Now they talk about just because you want to lose weight doesn't mean that you have to fully cut out all those tasty and amazing foods that you had. You can still incorporate those foods you had before into your diet, still being in a calorie deficit. I could still eat ice cream in moderate size portions and still incorporate it into my food. It's not unhealthy versus healthy food. You can have the best of both worlds and still enjoy your weight loss journey. And different to my past, I wouldn't feel so guilty for eating these things because I know I'm enjoying myself and I'm still in a calorie deficit. And even if I went over my calorie budget for the day, I just thought, you know what, it's okay because I still logged in the food. I don't know the exact numbers, but if 8,200 was the average to maintain weight and I'm eating at, let's say, 6,500, if I go over by 1,000, I'm still at a deficit, less than average. And even if I was to go over the average, like, relax, you know? It's okay. Like, do better than the day before. My dad around that time was also going to the gym and his PT recommended OxyTread. I started to use it myself. Yeah, it was pretty good. Not only as a pre-workout, but just using it in the morning and before breakfast as well. Um, Oxytrade, again, is not the cause of my weight loss, but did assist me in losing the weight. And finally, here is a after. I recorded this today, actually, which today is the 19th of August. So I recorded this this morning where I am now. I did lose around 12 kilos from last year and 10 kilos from when I actually properly started to lose weight this year. Honestly, as I'm filming this, it kind of sounds like I'm talking to my past self. And so what now? I'm not going to stop here. I still have many goals that I want to progress to and achieve. Some of them include still reducing my fat percentage on my body as well as gaining more muscle and becoming more toned. Yeah, those are my three goals. With that said, I really hope to produce more content that is health related, fitness related, overall just lifestyle related, following my progress and journey in my weight loss and just shaping my body up. It took me some time to make this video because I was facing some uncertainty about me posting up my raw body on the internet. I think I was quite insecure about that but I'm at a comfortable place now. Um, not saying that this is my goal body, but I think I am at a place where I'm much more confident. So that comes to the end of this video. Believe it or not, this 10 to 20 minute video I actually filmed in one hour. So I've just been chatting all this time to the camera. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I, I really enjoyed talking about this and I hope you guys enjoyed that too. I hope I also mentioned some things that could be helpful to you as well. If you're watching this video up to this point, you guys are champs. Seriously, like the fact that you came to the end of this video that just blows my mind if you did end up watching up to this point please comment down this emoji in the comments so i know who watched it till the end it will be just like an inside joke between us thank you guys so much for watching if you guys have any questions please let me know hope you guys stay safe and healthy and i'll see you guys in the next video bye you got this you can do it you can do it we can do it okay we can do it you can do it that was long that was very long but that was very fun i was being 100% honest. I'm excited. I'm excited. Are you excited? Because I'm excited. <laughs>